Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Orit Arfa, news update March 14th. Yuval Diskin, head of the Shabak, Israel's general security service, warned that Kiryat Gad east of Ashkelon falls within rocket range. Terror organizations in Gaza are continuing to rearm and improve the performance of the Qassam rockets, which can now reach 20 kilometers. The city of Kiryat Gad is conducting emergency exercises and updating bomb shelters in case of an attack. A member of the Winograd Commission investigating the Second Lebanon War announced yesterday that the interim report will include personal assessments of Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and Defense Minister Amir Peretz. He hinted that the fines are likely to cause an uproar in Israel. According to Commission Associates, the report will be published only after Passover so as not to ruin the holidays with the disturbing conclusions. Lebanese authorities have arrested terrorists belonging to Fatah al-Islam, a Palestinian splinter group who confessed to carrying out a bus attack in Lebanon last month that killed three. The bombing is among the attacks investigated by UN inquiry into the Hariri assassination. The Iranian foreign minister Manusher Motaki called Prime Minister Olmert a terrorist at an international conference on nuclear disarmament in Geneva. The Israeli ambassador Yitzhak Lebanon and his delegation stormed out of the hall upon hearing his words. UN talks on imposing sanctions against Iran are reaching their final phase, but the final draft of the resolution restricting exports and funding to Iran has yet to be finalized. Sanction talks come after Iran's refusal to halt uranium enrichment. Top Israeli tennis player Sharon Peer has qualified for the Pacific Line Open quarterfinals in Indian Wells. Peer beat out world number 11 in A seed Anna Shakhtetaze from Russia. Forecast predicts snow in northern Israel and in Jerusalem tomorrow. Today, winter has already turned to the capital after the warm Purim holiday, and the weather is cold, rainy, and windy. Today on InfoLive, Gilad Stockelman, an IDF reserve tank commander who was killed by Hezbollah fire in the Lebanon war, inspires his brother to follow in his footsteps. A Druze bride will not be able to visit her family again in Israel when she moves to Syria with her new Syrian Druze husband. Former Prime Minister Ehud Barak has his eye on the victory of the labor leadership race. The story of Faiz, a Muslim Moroccan who arrived in Israel to study during the Oslo peace process. Today, a book written about him includes a preface by Shimon Peres. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, InfoLive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. InfoLive.tv